guys, it's Elisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, I hope you are having a good day. It is another kind of sunny day in my part of Canada. And I just got uh, this delivered by the mailman. Uh, and I'm super excited to check it out because as you can see, this is from Mooney Maid. She is a small shop in the States, Texas to be precise. Here are her socials. She is um, well known for her diamond painting trays. Um, but she recently, within I think the last six months, came out with her own diamond paintings. Um, I've been holding off because buying diamond paintings from the States, from anywhere but Diamond Art Club right now, is quite expensive shipping-wise. Um, I think the shipping cost for this package was about $50 to $60 Canadian. So it was quite a bit. Um, but I've been wanting to try her diamond paintings out. And two came into stock that I wanted. And I thought, why not um, support her now? As, um, as If you follow her on her socials, you know that she is um, undergoing her first pregnancy. But she's struggling quite a bit with um, a medical condition. Uh, I can't remember the name, the medical term, but um, throwing up a lot <laughs> is the um, layperson term for what she's dealing with. So she's really, really struggling uh, with working, um, keeping her shop up and running because she feels so sick all the time. So I wanted um, to support her and I thought now would be a good time. You may see the cat jumping across here in a minute. She's coming to check out my um what's going on i've got a table on the bed to attach the filming arm to so she's quite curious what i'm doing again in her space let's let's start opening this though now there are some um there is an extra goodie in here let's see everything is her her um i don't know if it's her it's one of her signature colors as you can see in her thank you card here pretty pink uh, thank you card. Thank you so much for ordering. I wish your order will bring you even just the slightest bit of joy and happiness today. Well, Em, I can tell you it has cheered me right up. Today was uh, not a good start to my day. Um, so I'm very happy to see this stuff here and especially this little thing that popped out. It's actually um, a flashing light. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I know it's going to drive the cat absolutely nuts, but isn't it pretty? I think so. Let's turn that off so it doesn't bother your eyes. See if I can keep the stuff in frame. Now, my, my I recently got, let me get rid of this tissue. I recently got my mom into diamond painting and I set her up with some snack size Diamond Art Club paintings and you know, the whole lot, containers, boxes, um, light pad, pens, some of my pens, um, and trays. I had to give her trays. And I had to give her my white tray um, because I thought it would be easier on her eyes to see the diamonds. And ever since I've given her my white tray, I've been missing it and um, wanting to order another one from Mooney Maid. But um, because of uh, her current situation, the orders are kind of, um, I guess, on hold. You know, she does her usual Wednesdays drops, which I think now are not going to be scheduled every Wednesday. They're going to be when she feels like she has a good selection of product to offer that she's going to drop them. Um, but she was so kind to take the time to print me another white tray because um, my vision is a little bit affected from the nerve damage. I'm, I, I do find it harder to work with colored trays now uh, ever since my last surgery. So, um, I really like the white tray and I was missing my Mooney made one. So thank you so much, Em, for taking the time uh, to do that for me. I really, really appreciate it. So let's open the tray. And I told her, I don't care what lid and stopper you give me. I just need the white tray. So she gave me a pretty, pretty teal, I guess you call it, or sea green. That's very pretty. Very pretty and a basic white tray, which is exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. Her branding on the side. This is the small size tray. She also has a large size tray. Um, I don't have any large trays on hand, otherwise I would show it to you. Um, 
the large is too big for my hands, so I like the small trays. Thank you very much again. Now let's open the smaller painting first. I added the smaller painting on after um, I had placed the first order because she hadn't shipped it yet. So I sent her a message asking, kind of an SOS. I really want another painting, but um, can you add the shipping? So she was able to, so I'm very happy to get this. This is very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very me. It's a message that I need. Um, it's a round diamond painting, and here's the original artwork on your screen. And the title of it is called Hang In There, by, and the artist is cute but weird. So I need the message to hang in there almost on a daily basis. Um, if you deal with any chronic uh, conditions, you will also feel the same way, um, that some days it's just hard to hang in there. Now, because of shipping, this is rolled quite... Um, um, you can see it on the screen. Again, I'm filming in the afternoon and words are hard. I'm going to roll it backwards. It is poured blue, so you can roll these canvases backwards. It just helps them lie flatter a little bit quicker. So I'll be able to show you the canvas a little easier. There we go. There she is. Adorable. Got a, it has a little bee here who's hanging on to that flower, which I imagine it looks like he's slipping off of it. Um, so this is the first time I'm seeing a Mooney Made diamond painting. And at first look, it looks amazing. The backing is a soft back. And it's it's not a thin canvas. It's a thick canvas, like a sturdy. You, it, it's not flimsy. It feels like it's got a good weight to it. Um, but still easy to kind of maneuver. Like it's not stiff. Sturdy, but sturdy, but flexible. Maybe those are the words I'm looking for. Um, very cute flowers. I love the colors. I'm noticing that there's a lot of color blocking in this one, which I absolutely love. Uh, I'm not a confetti lover. I will do it. Uh, most time in paintings, I actually do like a good mix because too much color blocking, it does tend to get a bit monotonous. Um, but I really like how this has been rendered and how the, the symbols are laying on the canvas. You know, I'm not seeing any color just randomly put somewhere that, that doesn't belong. Everything looks like it's it's been put there for, with reason. Let me check the glue. Super, super sticky. Wasn't worried about that. I love how she has her branding down here. So on the bottom left, she has the thumbnail of the image, the title, the artist, the dimensions. This was a 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter. And then over here, she has her website. She's not on Etsy any longer. Um, she's on her own website, so moonymade.com. That's where you'll find her tray drops now, as well as her diamond paintings. And then this is really cool. She's got support the artist with her Instagram handle down here. So if you don't follow her, cute but weird is the artist of this painting. Um, she's got a schematic on both sides at the bottom left and top right, which is really nice. I like when they're on both sides, depending on where on the canvas you're working on it. The symbols look super clear. Let me hold this up closer so you can see. Um, I'm not noticing any problems. Like, um, I'm, I'm, the dark letters are on the appropriate background and the, the white letters are on appropriate if that makes any sense at all. This M here, it probably could have been white, but it's easy enough to see. You're not gonna mess that up at all. Um, but like the H's here, you've got the white on the darker background, so you can see it a lot better. And then here, you've got the black symbol on top of the lighter background, so it just makes it easier to see. So that is Hanging In There by the artist Cute But Weird. Um, Really excited to do this one. I will sneak it in in between some of my um, more full-sized canvases to give me a little bit of a break. I'll fit this in uh, sometime in the near future. Now let's look at the diamonds. I'm not going to take them all out. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll take some out because I see an AB in there. This one looks like she has one AB in her um, schematic at the very, very bottom. It's identified. It says 3078 AB, and that's the check mark. This is, this is the DMC, 3078. I'm flip it over there so the label's not in the way. It's a very pretty yellow DMC. 
It's got that AB coating. Uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which means the northern lights. So when the light bounces off these diamonds, you're going to see a variety of different colors uh, shining off. Very nice. Let's see where they go in the canvas. It looks like they're accented, sprinkled throughout. So we've got check marks over here. Um, it's probably pollen is what I'm thinking. It's not stars or things like that, but I bet you it's pollen. And you've got some in the sky here. I've got some on the, the, the um, um, petal of the flower here, down here as well. And some of the petals you've got here, which is what makes me think it's pollen as well. You've got sprinkling of that. And then you've got sprinkling down in the grass as well. And in the, all these petals here as well. Just a little bit where I think the light would bounce off is where it's been uh, charted. So that's really nice. And let's take a peek at the other diamonds. Some of the other color palette. Let me just close this. I don't want to go through everything one by one, but uh, here you go. So a lot of neutral like nice pastel colors, peaches and oranges. Then you've got some bright pinks and purple, green, blues, some nice blues and a nice teal. A little bit of black, which is probably in with the bumblebee and the outlining. 310 is the up arrow. Yeah, the black is in the eyes and the nose and then the eyes of this flower over here. So not too much. There you can see more of the, the pastel -y colors. It also came with this, which is a nice printout. Um, Mooney made. Thank you so much. And then she just has some information here, as long as, um, as well has uh, instructions to diamond paint. She has a return policy. You may return a diamond painting with its original packaging for a refund if you change your mind within 14 days of receiving it. If anything is damaged or missing when we receive your return, we may not be able to offer a full refund. We do not accept returns of canvases that have drills pasted on. So that's cool that she has a return policy. Not enough drills. Um, so if you run out of a color, you just reach out to her and they send more. Obviously, it's legally licensed, and they are hand charted by a designer. So that's really, really, um, a really good thing. It ensures the image comes across clear and crisp with minimal confetti, um, which is what I noticed right away was that it was charted very, very well. Oh, well, that's really nice. So she's putting a little thing in here about reselling. Um, I'll read it word for word. We know these stashes are common where people trade and collect. Uh, and sell collectible and discontinued art, but we kindly ask you not to price gouge. If we suspect that your intent is to purchase and resell at an inflated price when it is out of stock, we will not hesitate to ban you from future purchases in our store. That's really, um, that's good because I know buying from small shops can be hard. I know especially Mooney made her diamond paintings have been selling out pretty regularly. Um... So there's, there's a lot of need for them. So that, that is nice that she is taking care of her customers that want to work on her art by, um, by putting that kind of little rule in there. Awesome. Now she also has a sticker sheet. It's quite big. This is probably like an eight by seven. No, eight by 11, I think is the normal paper size. I don't know. You got her name, the name of the artist, start and end dates. She's got the original artwork there. And then the, the details down below. And then these are individual stickers. Let me pull one off. So, oops. So, this is what you can do. You can pull this one off, which has a symbol and then the DMC number. You can put those directly. I will be putting them on baggies. If you work on little round containers or very small containers, she also has individually cut, um, like there, you can see the Y little symbols here that you could put on top of very small containers. So that's a nice option. I don't think I've seen that anywhere. Um, usually you can just cut it if you need to, but that's nice that she offers the option depending on how you kit up. So there's that painting. Now let me put this aside and grab the other one. Now 
Now this one is a bigger one. This one I opted in to get one of her um, dust covers, I think they're called. And she she's um, designed and had this made with her name on it. It's, it's a nice um, thick sack. Like it's very durable. It's not rippable. I don't know, I don't know the, um, the actual material. It kind of feels like a burlap sack. And fit a nice nice size diamond painting. Very well made. Also comes in a plastic dust sleeve, which is nice. That purple cover is actually an add-on. I think it might have been $8. I could be wrong, though, but it is on her site when you go to purchase a diamond painting. There's actually um, a, a drop-down or a place where you can click uh, check a box if you want the extra protective sleeve. And I think it does come in a variety of colors. Okay, now this is one that I've missed. This was one of her first releases. I've missed it every single time except this last time I tried to get it. Um, don't mind me, I'm sitting on the edge of the bed now. My back is killing me. Here's the original artwork. I know I've seen a few people uh, working on this one. I've seen some finishes and it just made me want her even more. So when I... Um, was in, I think I was in Jade's live, um, Jade of Gem Shop goes live on YouTube uh, during the week, and I think I was in her live, which reminded me to check out her drop, because I always forget when it comes drop time. It's a square diamond painting, it's a 60 by 85. Let's open her up. Now I'm going to do it kind of off camera so I can roll it backwards. It is quite a bit larger. Nice and soft canvas. Again, it has the, the soft uh, kind of felt backing. It's very soft and flexible. It's very easy to roll back, you can see. And this is just so it will lay a little bit flatter for us. I'm not going to be able to get it all in frame, but I'll do my best to move it around. Let me put these up top for a minute. Here she is. Well, here's part of her. <laughs> The name of this one is uh, Deity of Dawn. I'm going to pull up the bottom corner here. There's the original artwork. Deity of Dawn is the name of it. And the artist is, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Femke Debra. Um, the dimensions are 60 centimeters by 85 centimeters. Again, here is the artist's Instagram handle if you'd like to go give her a follow. And there's Mooney Maid's website. Check it out. She might have some diamond painting still in stock. Um, it depends when she um, restocks the website with the diamond painting. So I've gone on there before and seen a few options. Um, this is one, though, that, that I think sells out every time. She also, this artist also has another painting license with Mooney Maid called Deity of the Forgotten, I believe. I also did order it on the last week's drop I believe it was and it's on the way too so when I do get it I will unbox it um the nice thing the cool thing about the that one deity I've forgotten is uh, it has 12 crystals in it so I'm kind of excited for that too but back to this one she is absolutely beautiful lots of pastel colors she's got a beautiful rainbow mermaid tail down here let me pull her down a little bit so you can see the bottom with a nice big mermaid tail can see that in frame. Again, the symbols look great. I'm not seeing any, you know, concerns. Here, let me pull her up here. You can see the drill field. There's some dark colors in her hair. And then the lighter drill field. Nice and easy to read. I hope you can see that okay. Again, you can tell that thought went into rendering this one. Um, it's rendered beautifully with the... Um, blending of the colors in here. You can see there's a lot of color blocking and then a bit of confetti where you're going to blend the colors. But it's all placed really well. She also has a few ABs in this one. Um, two ABs. So let me see if I can see them on first glance. So this is a square diamond painting. I'm actually going to sit. Let's see if I can see the ABs. As you can see here, lots of um, pastel peaches and pinks, neutral colors. There's uh, 
a blue and a green over here lots of purples peaches purple green hope I'm seeing ABs there lots of purples down here bear with the crinkle One of the ABs is 5200. You can see here is a white AB. Let me see, 5200 is a triangle. Let's see where the triangle is. So there's a little, a few spots in her hair that has this white AB. Um, this piece of jewelry on her forehead has a white AB. Couple in the top of the rainbow up there. See some up at the top of, of the rainbow where you would assume that there's light bouncing off of it, so it gives a bit of a reflection. Some in the scales as well. A good sprinkling through here too. Through here, through through all this cloud, you're gonna see um, some of the AB just where the canvas is showing it's a bit white. Again, that's where you would assume that light would be bouncing off the clouds. And then, of course, she does have some of this AB in her tail. In these uh, lines going down her tail, there's some AB sprinkled in there. So that will look really, really pretty. Let's see the other AB. There's two bags of this pink one, which is a 963 AB. Hold it up there for you. 963 is a pretty, pretty pink. What symbol is that? That's a Y. So let me bring this closer. Usually I take a look at the canvas before um, I pull out the ABs so I know exactly where they are. But I'm going along along with the video. So I'm seeing some um, Ys over here in this pink part. And I guess it's her blouse that she's wearing. It's hard for me to see the Ys. I'm probably missing a bunch of them. But there's probably a whole bunch in the tail. Let's look at the tail. Oh yeah, there's lots in the tail. I think most of these pink ABs are gonna be in the tail here. I see quite quite a, quite a bit of, of Ys throughout the whole thing. So I think that's where most of the pink ABs are gonna be, which will look really, really nice. It should be really sparkly. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's look at the sticker sheet. She, same same um, uh, instruction paper came with this kit as it did the other, so I'm not going to go over it. It looks exactly the same. And then this is the sticker sheet. Let me just try to unroll it a little bit. The cat's wondering what's all over the bed. Again, Mooney made name of the piece is Deity of Dawn, artist Femke Debra. Here's the original artwork. I will cut this picture out and put it in my uh, paper log book. I do keep a Gems Flow app as well, but I tend not to. I'm just going to stand up here. I tend not to up, keep my Gems Flow updated anymore, um, but I do keep it in my paper log book. And then again, all the individually cut stickers with a DMC or just the symbol if that's what you want to kit up when. There's a total of 40 colors in this one with the two ABs at the bottom. So that's going to be gorgeous. She is a little bit taller than what I normally work on. Um, but I couldn't resist. I kept seeing people posting, you know, their kind of sneak peeks, you know, posting the, the image without drills on it with all the, the diamonds around to see the colors. And then I saw a few finishes um, on Instagram and Facebook. And I just thought that the it, it was... Um, rendered beautifully and the colors blended so nicely. I also think that she's actually made upgrades to this kit compared to when it first released. Um, and that's a nice thing. And it did say that on this paper here. Let's see, where is it? On here, did I see it here? We are listening. Please let us know if you run into any problems, issues, or simply have some constructive feedback to share. 
Uh, since we are so early on in our journey with diamond painting production, we are still very much making small changes and figuring out what works best. Please leave a review on the website to let us know how the experience was. So um, if, you, if you're doing the painting and you have any feedback, Mooney Made is very receptive to constructive feedback. Um, and I know, she, I can't tell you off the top of my head what um, changes she made, but I'm pretty sure with this one, she did um, change it up a little bit based on some feedback. So that's really awesome that she's willing to listen and uh, make changes for the better. So I can't wait to work on this one. This one probably won't get to for a little while. I definitely will do my the other one hanging um, in there. Let me grab it. I will definitely do this one because it's more of a snack size piece. I'll try to do it uh, relatively soon. Um, because I know a lot of you Canadians might not have had the chance to buy from her and have been waiting to see um, how the products are before making that purchase because of the shipping cost. But um, she did send it USPS, so you do pay her the shipping charge. And then there was, um, actually, I had to pay $16.81, I think, in duties. And that's just because I, I had... Um, two paintings in here so the total would exceed the daily daily limit which is why you have to pay customs duties right um it's a fancy calculation that i know nothing about but i only had to pay 16 dollars. if you cho choose to get this shipped ups to canada you are going to have to pay a hefty uh, um amount on arrival because you got that um, broker fee. So if you do purchase from her, I would recommend going through USPS. Um, the shipping charge is going to be more because it is a small shop, but um, on first look, the quality is worth it. Um, I love the rendering. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to work on both of them. Uh, I also have the Deity of the Forgotten in the mail, which is around with 12 crystals. I'll definitely unbox that when it comes so you guys can see. Um, I would have gotten it with this package but it wasn't either either she didn't restock the deity of the forgotten at the same time or i was too slow to get that one so i did purchase that one again just because the fact it has 12 crystals i can't wait to see uh, where they are because i am somebody who likes blinging out paintings or having paint paintings with crystals in them but i'm not so good at planning where they go so i'm really excited to see how her team renders it and where they put the crystals and um Definitely can't wait to work on that one as well. But uh, for today, here is the, my Mooney Made haul. Uh, two diamond paintings and uh, a lovely small tray. Thank you again, M. Here is her business card. I'm sure everybody who's watching this video already knows about M. She also has a YouTube channel. I love her her podcasts when she does them on YouTube. Um, she's taking a bit of a break, of course, taking care of her health, but um, do give her a follow. I love her content uh, when she's back up feeling good and creating again. I do recommend checking her content out as well. Um, otherwise, that's it. I need to go rest and I need to pull out a diamond painting and start working on it. Uh, finish, I need to finish Fairy Light so I can start this, uh, this cute snack size one. I think I will fit this one in next. Um, so until next time, happy diamond painting y'all and uh, have a good day or night. 